How's it going? Ah, oh, well. So, um, this is this is the first stream for me from uh, Retro Science, but I do streaming every week on on another channel. But uh, thanks, thanks for thanks for joining. Um, just gonna what I'm playing here is a very very old um, DOS game. Uh, let's, let's do this. Actually, the music's fine. There you go. So loud. I can hear myself speak now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I'm going to do some things um, but uh, on, on the computer. But yeah, um, thanks for joining me. What I've got going here is a um, very, very peculiar thing. I hope you can pick me up. I believe you can. Yeah, yeah, looks like the sound's going through. Um, what I'm playing here is old DOS games. Uh, from 1986 to around 1995-ish, so that's what 10 year period. And I'm not running it on DOSBox, which a lot of people do. I'm actually running it on my original sort of Windows 95 PC I've got, that I built years and years and years ago. Uh, not, not, it's not, you know, it's from period. So it's a Pentium 133 with 32 megs of RAM, I think it's got. It's a bit way overpowered for what it was at the time, so it's very, very, very powerful. Windows 95 machine, but it still is a Windows 95 machine. And I've got a whole bunch of DOS games on it. Um, this is one of them. This is Heretic. Uh, and I'm going to be playing it in a second. And um, I'm using a keyboard and mouse controls pretty much exclusively. I did have a controller um, which looks like this. Uh, it doesn't seem to work. I can't get it to work, so I've given up with it. Uh, <laughs> so I'll, I'll try another time. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to play a whole bunch of games. That I've got uh, on this system. So, without further ado, let's just do this. So, new game. Start there, and I'm going to be a little bit rubbish. So, anyway, so I've got this set up in such a way that I've got strafing and all sorts of nonsense going on. Well, we should be horrible. Yeah. So I'm going to set up in such a way. What's going on over there? And it's basically this is basically Doom. It is Doom, but completely reskinned and rebuilt for, you know, for wizards and things like that. And you know, what else can I tell you about this computer? It's got a sound blaster on it, an or thirty-two. Or AWE 32. I always used to call them ORs, but <laughs> they're AWE 32. The sound card, which were pretty cool. Um, this weapon I'm using here is a, a kind of a, a rather basic weapon. It's just the um, a wand that you get. I'm going to play this for a little bit. I've got a whole bunch of games. So, also, on the, this here, so you've got, let's put this in the front screen. This is a stack of CDs. That, they're not. These aren't all DOS games, in fact a lot of them are just blank CDs, but I've got a stack of DOS games on the top here um, that I'm going to be going, not all through all of them, that would be insane, but I'm just going to play a few of them. Of course, there's little surprises in there. All of these are legit and original, I hate to add. They're all legit. Uh, but um, I've got, I've plucked out a bunch of them from here. Uh, and we've got a Wipeout, which is pretty cool. Um, Wipeout on the PC, which doesn't make a lot of sense. And then we've got uh, Screamer, which is a race, a sort of racing game. Um, Magic Carpet, that kind of stuff. Oh, I'm not sure if I've installed all these <laughs> on this computer, so I will be installing stuff while we're doing, while we're playing. But that's that's okay. That's not a problem. At least I don't think so. Uh, interestingly enough, I uh, configured the keys, so this is uh, WASD. Because back then they didn't do WASD. Uh, people didn't control, control games like that. Oh! Let's go 
into the water. Now, as with all Doom-like games, especially, you know, uh, you can't jump. You can't jump, it's weird. Um, yeah. Can't jump. Can run though, really fast. Uh, what's the map? So here's the map, this is where I am. Mm. I did get the key, didn't I? I remember getting the key. So I managed to just go open the door. Shoot the naked man in the face. He chops him off. Does that look like a door? No. These little imp things are very annoying. Not entirely sure what the potions are used for, but used for something. There was a heretic too, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, but uh, that's a Windows 98 game, so might be sometime in the future I'll play that. But right now I'm into DOS games and DOS games alone. The cabling required to do this was not easy. Like I said, I am not doing DOS box, I'm not emulating. This is a genuine Windows 95 PC running DOS 7. Um, so, and it's got an all 32 card in it. All right, so I've seen you set of weapons. So, all right, these these are pretty vicious. Um, but they got no. It's like one to one sort of thing. So, I'll get my thingy out. I, I still quite impressed with this game, <laughs> despite its age, uh, or maybe because of its age. I don't know. I've got full health. Now it's been a very long time since I played this, so. Um, so we on Retro Asylum just embrace all things retro regardless of what year it is. I should do the map, shouldn't I? I'm getting lost. Go up here, go up here, go up here. Indeed. Is there anything in it? There might be some, just like other, you know, Doom and Dooms. There are secrets, and I just discovered one. Look at that. Book thing. I'm up here, do you know? Do you, so, so I was sort of down below. Oh, damn it. Don't punch me in the face. I've got that. I'm not sure what that does. I've, just got, I've got a spell book. That's pretty cool. Uh, further up there. Um, so there's this. Oh, look, what's that? So uh, also, you probably notice it's running very, very, very smoothly. Um, the reason being, um, like I said, it's it's a very, very powerful PC for its time. Very powerful. Uh, 
Oh, look. Eat that. This is an uber powerful weapon. Now I need to get back to where I was earlier. Look, I'm over here. One of the favourite games of this era was um, Dark Forces, which is a Star Wars game, very much in the same vein as Doom. Um, Open something there. It's a bit overkill to use this thing against. He wouldn't die. Up it up this way. Okay. I think this might be the exit. It is. I didn't kill everything. Didn't do all the secrets. I'm an idiot. Never mind. I'm surrounded by screens here. <laughs> right. I'm going to snip the arrows because they I get a lot of them. Oh, I can't just lift that one up. It's violent that. Something nearby, I can't. Need the yellow key. Like in the skybox in this one, it's good. Double door. Many doors. I don't like this. I don't know what happened there. That was weird. That wasn't too... I did that all stank, really. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. I have got any other weapons. This, 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 I am disappointed. Hmm. Okay, Mads. Yeah, Mads is on the channel. Um, yeah, the animation for the the brown people, the um, ones that like punch you in the face, they're they're pretty good. It's pretty convincing. Um, I think they spent a little bit more time on this game. I need the yellow door. I need the yellow.
do need the yellow door. Uh, one with the crystal. Uh, what did I die earlier? Oh, it is a stupid doorway. I know exactly what happened. I got monstered. No, it's still open. This little thing chewed me to pieces because I couldn't shoot it in. I'm liking discovering the secrets. It's very cool. What I loved about these Doom like games is just. Mean. This game's mean. Scare me like that. They, they put a lot of effort in those. I don't know why, but they did. They put a lot of effort into them. A silver shield! I think it understands my armour. I spot the key, but as soon as I get that key, I suspect very bad. Very bad things are going to appear from all over the place. Like that! I'm doing pretty good though, it's got to be said. Mm -hmm. Oh no! That wasn't fair! That's doing so well! You know what? You quit. Yes, you quit. But thank you. So I'm reaching down between my legs because I've got this is it. It's the, it's the uh, CD ROM. Um, so yeah, that that was hex. That was heretic. I do have hexen, which is just here. Uh, I'll grab it now. Look, there we are, hexen. So uh, we'll be playing that later, but I'm not going to play that now because it's you know it's rubbish, isn't it? Um, should we try? Try to think. Should we go wipe out and see what the hell that works? I had a bit of trouble with setting the keyboards on it, so hopefully it doesn't freeze up on me, but it shouldn't do. Let's have a look. So this is a weird um, setup. This game runs from the CD itself, but it genuinely is wipeout. I can, I can assure you. Um, but I have to play it using my keyboard, which isn't great. Um, but let's go. There it is, let's wipe out, so you just go wipe out. Mm. 
Seek notice! Sadly, no longer with us. What's that? <laughs> We haven't seen the intro video, do we? Do we? No. Let's press enter. I'm going to press enter. Uh, options. Hmm. Configure keyboard. Left, right, up. Uh, down. I'm gonna go with uh, left air brake, right air brake, accelerate, fire, um, V. Yeah, this did, did this last time when I did set the controls. So I mean, it looks great. Yeah, I did this last time, and I yeah, it just wouldn't. All the controls went a bit squiffy. <laughs> they all just went like this. I tried to set the controls, and it just went, nah. I'm gonna have this crash instead. Which is very annoying. Um, it's a shame because it looked cool. Yeah, it's just, it's just, you know, it's got nothing. They won't start game, won't, won't let me do anything because I set the controls. Let's reset the computer. I'll try again because I want to play this game. Um, it's very frustrating, but that's that's what it is. Um, there it is. Oh, 32 megs of RAM, yeah, it's quite big. For uh, uh, yes, yeah, so it's very, very powerful. It's got right screen. You can see it all now. Um, yeah. Check some out because the battery's dead. And I can't replace it. But we'll try again. I don't know why it does it. You, 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 I might just have default settings on the controls. For the best. Windows only five plus. Yay. Okay. So E. Deep gold. Can't talk. Word wipeout. There you go. I'm just going to go default settings. I'm going to try to change settings. Of the, I've no idea what the. Uh, let's just start game. Actually, options, controller config. Yeah, let's just do that. It's a little bit. I'll do a single race, see if I can get this to work. AG systems, yep. Please work. I've no idea what the keys are. <laughs> it's going to go so well. Okay, so that's not... Is it control? Yeah, it's control. It's pretty smooth. I think it's slightly smoother than the PC than the uh, PS1 version. They got a lot of pop-up. And it's the highest resolution it goes. I'm not doing the air brakes because I don't know what the air brakes are.
music streaming from the CD, oddly enough. So it, rather than letting it all 32 do its job, they've decided to go, no, let's let's just stream it from the CD. This is what they did on the PS1, so it makes sense. I'm not using my brakes. Okay, Alt, I've now discovered, triggers the thing. Took him out. Well, not quite, but I hurt him. <sighs> I do actually have twenty ninety seven as well. I think I just dumped a bunch. Fourth position. I don't see a target in front of me, so unless that means speed boost. I think it does. No, it doesn't. It's a long old race, isn't it? And the last one, last lap though. Oh. Dumb fire. Still in position four. I thought I'd do, do it over. Oh, oh that's a speed boost. Surprisingly. Surprisingly playable, it's got to be said. Dodge that bullet. I knew what air brakes were, I'd use them, but I can't change the keys because I haven't established that makes it crash. Wow. This is pretty cool. Position five. Oh well. Yeah, go on, have another go. Another keys this time, a little bit. Ah, uh, new tab will be the. Uh, I always preferred third person on the uh, on wipeout. Because you know what's going on behind you and what's in front. Missed him! I 
No. Missed him. I never was very good rockets on the. Uh... Can we see him then? But. This is reminding me uh, quite a lot about uh, um, America. We've been playing a lot of America recently. On the switch. It's, this is definitely showing its age. I've got, as, as awesome as it is, I'm playing us on the PC. Uh, you know. It's showing its age. It really is. Um, I thought it was in my sights, but it wasn't. Well, I'm doing worse now. Nice try. I'm a bit violent, it's got to be said. Next target, here he is. For her, to be her. get second. Well, I'm in second now. Whoever's in first is light years ahead. Can't see him for Toffee. Ah, oh, come on! Stolen! Stolen! Stolen. Got third though. It's stolen. Let's not restart the race. I mean, let's just go to graphic settings. So it's full. I can't get any more detail than it is, so and this machine could do far better, but there it is. Um not available. Okay. Bye. 
different tracks and things. Probably gonna be way worse now. Never mind. Only two views available, everyone. Glorious. Oh, great. I don't know what air brakes are. air brakes in this track. I don't know what they are. And I can't set them because the game crashes. For reasons I don't know. Oh jeez. point telling me to come on in this game. I'm terrible at it. I need the air brakes but I don't know where they what keys there are and the game crashes every time I set keys so I can't sit it now. Maybe the internet can tell me. Had to get rescued. <laughs> oh dear. As you can see I'm not the greatest swipe out player in the world. That was abysmal. That was abysmal. I could do better now. Should we try another driving game? I think we should try another driving game. I think we're going to try... Try Screamer. So, I'm going to... No. Interesting port. Interesting port. Yeah, please. Interesting port, an interesting game. But, um, yeah. 1995. How's that? It's a bit warm. Alright, let's have a look. Okay. See all the innards now. I think I might have this installed on my computer, but I can't remember. Uh, so, let's have a look. Scan this. Just looking. 
Oh look, pirates. I've got some games on here now. C64 stuff on here. No, two try D. It's all fascinating, you know, it's all delving into my stuff. Sega Rally's on here, but that's a Windows game, it's not a PC, the DOS game. I don't think it's on there, so we're gonna have to install it. Oh, the excitement. Animal Station. Source Drive, Destination Drive, D, actually. Uh, yeah. It's fine. Yes, please. Uh, yes. Look! Even back then they had scroll bars and like loading bars. Uh, but like I said, this power, this computer is very, 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 very powerful. So this won't take too very long, if at all. And it's got a massive hard drive in it as well. But this is fun, isn't it? This is to, to run old um, old DOS games on, a, on an old PC. And then um, stream it out to you, good people. Um, it's, good stuff, it's good stuff. I don't see this done very often. Most people, when they stream uh, DOS games, they're typically doing it using um, a um, DOS box or an emulator. It's still right, I guess. Not quite the same thing, though, is it? Right, so we're going to do the sound card thing. Let's just do auto-detect. Yeah, that, that's done. So we so I've got a Sound Blaster 16 in here. I thought I had an all 32. Looks like I've got an all 16. This is fine. Uh, controls a keyboard, VGA, SVGA. Let's do SVGA. Um, okay. Yes. Okay. I used, to, I used to love this game, um, but it's a bit loud. <laughs> Thank you very much because can't change the volume. It's just gonna be really loud. Really loud! Let's play loud, okay? Okay.
Well, the... that could have gone better. Um, I can't change the volume. It's just, yeah, it's really loud. Never mind. Yeah. I don't know why it's so loud. <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to tone it down, but it's just... May they rest in peace. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit in and watch this for just a little bit, not for too long. But I want you to point out the graphics and the render it's, it's just This is meant to be like oh look amazing rendering graphics. A spooling from the C D Yeah. Yeah, it's not Blizzard, is it? It's not Blizzard! And even then, back then, when Blizzard did their stuff, it wasn't much better than this. It was slightly better, but yeah, not really up there with the rest of them. So yeah, look at it. I mean, it's just—it's all very, yeah, okay. Not doing question mark this time. It can see the CD, so that's good. Right, so. Let's just go to options. Can't seem to slide the thingies. Okay. Let's just start a new game, shall we? Let's go to ever smile so and stop it smiling. I'm running this on a uh, 14 inch CRT monitor, by the way. 
So you're seeing it in glorious widescreen. I'm seeing it in horrible, horrible. Yeah. Empty area in the west. Is it here or here? Oh, hang on. Well, I did build a treasure room. There it is, it's over there. Excellent, my minions. Excellent. Um, what's really cool is about this, about this game is um, it does run exceptionally well on this machine, even though it is an old Windows 95 printing machine. Yes. Work harder. Do your things. Foul creatures. They were discovered all water, look. Yeah, but I have got a treasure room, it's there, look, there's masses of it.
Okay, I'm digging out a new area. Not the entrance. Where shall I go? Oh, I know. Here. So in in the uh, there was a terrible, terrible. Where are they going? No way for minions. Well done. Very cool. I'm not doing terribly well, everyone. Uh, is anyone left?
Where is he? There he is. Tough guy, isn't he? Oh, he's taken one damage. Is there any dudes here? Oh, he's, he's taking a pounding. He's taking a pounding. Is there any more and pick up from here? They're winning. Nice! I did it. Oh, he just did that, though. I'm getting a bit hungry at the moment. <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to play. What's I got here? Magic carpet, which is more or less incompatible. Heretic played heretic already. I think I might play some Hexen. But he got the gist. I'm going to play some more of these games. I'm going to play them for longer. But I'm really happy that I've got all this whole thing set up. I mean, I've actually got four screens going at the moment. I've got two screens on my main streaming PC. I've got my laptop here so I can see the stream itself. And then I've got my, my 14 inch here. Uh, quite extraordinary. Well, the, the lengths I've gone to to get this to work. Uh, I'm quite proud of myself. Uh, am I going to play this anymore? No, I'm going to quit. Um, I'm, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna do a long play of this, but I'm just jumping and jumping between each each game that I encounter and I have. I've got a lot more games as well. Like I've got Privateer, the original Privateer, which is an amazing, amazing game. Very complex, very, 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 very complex. Uh, but I really want to play that too. But um, it's one of the things I like to do uh, on the uh, my my other channel is to play these retro games and stuff. Um, nope. Yes. So it's just Hexen, isn't it? So this is an FPS again. Um, kind of like a sister game to Heretic, but not not the same. Uh, it's made by sort of I think actually Raven made this, but anyway. Let's just go.
So yeah, Raven Software made this. It's not, not it, 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 I mean, they had relationships with ID. Uh, was it id? Sorry, id, id Software. But um, yeah, let's just do this. I'm gonna be the fighter, I think. Mr. Punchy, gonna go down to night. Uh, I managed to do the settings similar to. Sounds way better now. I've definitely fixed the sound. I think I had it way too loud. It was all distorted. So apologies for that earlier on. Fix that now. He hasn't got any other ranged weapons. He just punches at the moment. But yeah, these are these are slightly more advanced. Yeah, graphically it's slightly better as well. So, very cool. The map show, yeah. I saw I was at uh, the um, Retro Revival uh, event, which is pretty cool. And um, someone was playing this. So I thought, oh, I'd like to do that. Something's a little bit quiet. You can jump in this game, look. <laughs> you can't jump in the other game. Let's try and get the sound up a bit. It's just a bit. I don't think I'm supposed to go that way, I'm sure. An emerald I never finished this back in the day, but I would like to do that very thing as a stream. That'd be fun. Um, sort of come back to it every now and again. I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. I'm missing something. Oh, I remember. It suddenly come back to me. Yeah, I remember now. Very nice. Very nice door. Remember. It's 
some health. It's all come back to me now. Really, it looks amazing actually when you compare it to, to games of this era. It's pretty cool. Stop punching me. Right. There's another one. Yeah, it's coming back to me now. The, the key to this game was the stained glass windows. You have to keep on punching them. You get they got stuff underneath them. My AC is three, apparently. It's a bit rubbish for a warrior. I thought there was something I had to do with these these things. No. So I just spotted something that's happening on the screen that I didn't want to happen. Um, right. I've really fixed the sound now. I'm happy about that. It's still a little bit quiet though, isn't it? No, no secret entrance there. I've pulled that down already. Let's head back. Do I have to do the others? Because I'd rather not. Oh look, there's another one. Good, another one. These things respawn. Yeah, these guys are definitely off their time, weren't they? So much violence. All that. Nothing there. Did I, I haven't got a key or anything. I didn't really. It wasn't really advantageous going down. There's something. I'm missing something. No. <gasps> there it is. The Emerald Key. All oh, right, I've got to run. I think shift and run works. There you go. These things respawn. It's rubbish. Where's that door? Well, there it is. Yeah, the other way. 
of the way. Let's keep going, but I'm getting very hungry. Very, very, very hungry. Here we are, here we are, here we are, here we are. So if I did a proper sort of run of this, I'll be saving it every, every now and again. I opened something. Oh, look at that. Weird, isn't it? Hmm. I saw something. Oh, here. Yeah. I'm not sure. If I need the silver key, but I know where the silver key is. So here. I was a bit hairy. No doubt I've got respawning monsters now. No? Normally do. No. Tower. We have to ring the bell. The answer to that question, Chris, is yes. Yes, you did need to ring the bell. You can look down and up. It's silly, really. It's like a twisted sort of view. It's a bit weird. You just look forward and you're fine. So I'm not sure what that did, if anything. Sounds like I did. <gasps> What's that? I don't remember any of this actually. Ethereal travel! <sighs> Hello. No, oh, this isn't Dark Souls. Can't steal that line. I'm a bit worried about my... Um,
Blue mana. Does a warrior need blue mana? There's a chain thing somewhere, isn't there? Memories that that sort of seeping in, like oh yeah. behind there doesn't sound nice. I'm missing something. Oh, you're in there, yeah? Ow. Yeah. I'm not going to get any further than this. Well, I can't quite remember what I need to do. These things will give you a bit of a clue. No. Hmm. Alright. I think we shall we shall quit there. I have many, many more DOS games. Um I was gonna play Magic Carpet, but that game's bonkers. Uh and then there's a little big adventure. This is the weirdest, weirdest game I've ever played, but I really would like to play that one day. Well, I played it before, but I never finished it because I've got I just of that mindset that I didn't really understand games as well as I do now. So I love going back to these old games and with a modern sensibilities and stuff. Um, I do know what to do here, but I can't quite. It's something to do with this tower here. But I can't quite remember. Um, it escapes me for the moment. But yeah, awesome game. Um, well, look, you can go back up here and get a bit of vantage point on what's going on. Um, there you go. Yeah, no, not really. Yep. No, we're we'll quite tonight. But no, it's just really, really good fun. I'm really happy that I got it running. Um, it, it was, I had a lot of struggles to getting this to work, but do, do uh, thanks for joining, and uh, I will be back some other time on Retro Asylum again, doing this very thing, playing some weird retro games, uh, uh, on, maybe on PC, maybe on some other format, I don't know, but like I said, thanks very much for joining, bye.